Hey there, I'm Tom Graham for Envato Tuts Plus, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add text to Premiere Pro. It couldn't be easier, but there's also a few ways to do it depending on the complexity of your text and if you want to animate things. And the best way to do that is with MOGRT files or motion graphics templates. They're a super easy way to speed up your workflow and create great motion graphics with a few clicks of a button. In this video, I'll also show you how to create captions and subtitles using auto transcribe functionality that is in Premiere Pro. It couldn't be easier. Now I mentioned MOGRT files and you might be thinking, where do I get those? They sound great. Well, the answer is Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a really easy to use subscription-based service that gives you access to millions of digital assets that you can download and use in your projects right away. The commercial licensing is super simple. It couldn't be easier. So click the link in the description below to find out more and get access to all of these great MOGRT files right now. Let's get into the tutorial and learn how to add text to Premiere Pro. Okay, first things first, when adding text in Premiere Pro, it's super easy to get started. So all you need to do is check the little T tool down here. That is our text tool. You can also do this on your keyboard with the keystroke T. Click anywhere in your program monitor here, clicking now and write whatever text you want. There we go. Now you can see on the left hand side here, this is our effects controls panel. We have some parameters that we can change. We can change the position here, both horizontally and vertically. We can change the scale of our text. We can change the rotation and we can change our anchor point. As well as that, we can change the opacity so that things blend in with whatever's below it. If you wanna reset all of these, you can just hit the little reset buttons here on the right hand side. Now at the moment, this is just a basic text layer with nothing underneath it. You can see on our timeline, if we zoom in, the text layer has been created. It's five seconds long by default. And you might think this is a black layer with the text on it, but it is actually not. So let's drop some footage underneath this so we can see how it works in practice. So you can see now my text layer is here and it's blending in to the background. Let's change the text so it's more legible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got the text layer selected here on the timeline. And then over in my effects controls panel, I'm going to toggle down this little twirl down right here, text in Bardo Tuts Plus. And you can see I've been given a whole lot more control over our text. So first I'm just going to select our text layer and highlight everything using command A or double clicking. And I'm going to change the font. Let's just change it to something completely different. Okay, so now I've got some other options down here as well, including my scale. So let's scale things up and reposition. And I can do that using the transform position tools over here. Now, if I click back into my selection tool or hit V on my keyboard, I can actually just click and drag this text layer anywhere in the program monitor, which is sometimes a little bit easier than tweaking things just in the horizontal or vertical direction. So let's say this is where we want it. We're happy with that. But we also wanna change the color now. Once again, I'm going to double click and highlight. I'm going to go into my fill here and I could just browse a color on the color wheel here or I'm going to grab our eyedropper tool here and select this aqua color that we've got in the water. So I've selected that, I now hit okay. And if I click out of it using our selection tool once again, you can see that Envato Tuts Plus is now the color of the water. But let's add one more thing to it. Let's double click and we'll add a stroke to the outside just to bring things out a little bit more. And you can see here, this number is represented by the stroke width and we can just increase that ever so slightly. Clicking away with our selection tool now, we can see that we've got this nice color matched piece of text that sits over the top of our video. I'll play it through. Great, but how do we add a little bit of motion to this? Clicking back into the text layer here, I can go down into my transform position scale tools and up in this little timeline, I'm going to click and drag all the way back. Let's say that we want this to increase in size across our video. We can go into the scale settings here and click our little stopwatch, which adds a keyframe. You can see a keyframe has been added here. Drag forward just a little bit in time and increase to your desired scale. Let's call it that. We'll go back either in our playhead up here in the effects controls panel or down here in our actual timeline and we'll hit spacebar to play. And you can see that we now have an animated piece of text over the top of our video. But that's pretty basic. What if we wanna animate things further? Well, what we can do is we can go up into our captions and graphics tab in Premiere Pro. So that has brought our sequence over into the captions and graphics section of Premiere Pro. 
Let me delete what we've made and we'll start again. If I add a, another text layer here by pressing T on my keyboard, clicking in the program monitor, and again, writing what I want to write, you'll see that the style has pulled over from before. And you can see now on our right hand side here, we have all of the same parameters that we could change in our effects controls panel, but now they're laid out in the essential graphics tab. So the essential graphics tab lets you customize text that is on the screen, but it also lets you browse things called MOGRTs or motion graphics templates. So motion graphics templates are animations that have already been created by other people in programs like After Effects or Premiere Pro, and then you can import them into your system and they're editable so you can change them for your needs. Now I got this pack from Envato Elements. There's a link in the description below, so make sure you head along and check out this pack on Envato Elements. Now I'm going to delete this text layer that we've made here and I'm going to click and drag one of my MOGRT files into my timeline. So once you drop that into the timeline and it's loaded up, let's play through and see what it looks like. You can see there's a placeholder for footage here as well as the animated titles. The whole piece is animated as well with this drop shadow. So let's work out how we can customize this. If I click on the MOGRT file in my timeline like so, you'll see up in the essential graphics tab, we switch over to this edit tab and this allows us to edit all of the things that you see in here. Now, not all parameters will be editable on every MOGRT file. It's up to the person building the MOGRT file as to how much customization you get with your motion graphics. But in this file, we're able to change quite a lot. So let's start with linking our footage. Click on this little hamburger icon over here and click replace from finder. You'll see here that's imported my footage and over on the left in our program monitor, it has pulled right through. So let's move down to our text. So we've got typo here. So the first half of it is animated and then the second half is animated. So you've got tie in text 01 and po in text 02. Let's change this to tut and we'll change this part to s plus and we'll see what that looks like. So I think we need to even this out a little bit more. We'll do this TU at the start and then TS plus at the end. Once I click out of this, you'll see it reflected. We've got some other pieces of text in this motion graphics file as well that we can change. So let's go through and quickly customize those. So now you can see in just a few clicks, we've gone from, you know, basic text to a really well-produced animated introduction. Look at that, looks amazing. Now I of course could change all of the fonts on this, change the colors, you know, we've got to keep this thing moving. Speaking of moving, you might be wondering, all right, that MOGRT file looks amazing, but how do I get my own in there? And luckily for you, we've got a little treat. If you click the mix kit link in the description below, you'll be taken to a free MOGRT file that you can download and customize yourself. Let's look at how to bring that into Premiere Pro right now. First of all, I'm just going to delete what we've worked on. Then I'm gonna add it to a clean timeline. So I'll go back into my browse section of the essential graphics tab. And in the very bottom right hand corner, there's this little button. It says install motion graphics template. So if I click that and then navigate to the free mix kit file that you'll find in the link in the description below and hit open, there we go. It's brought in right at the top. If I do exactly the same thing that we just did before, I'll click and drag it into the timeline here and play through. This is what we've got. This is a completely free, ready to use motion graphics template from Mixkit. Make sure you download it with the link in the description below and you can customize it yourself. So let's click through and just quickly customize this. Now we've got a whole bunch of text here. As you can see, there's the cast, there's Rachel Green, Jennifer Aniston, uh, Monica Geller, Courtney Cox, and so on. This is obviously a friends template. And then if we go through, you've got different color settings as well. So instead of changing the text in this one, let's change the color settings. We'll just move this to a yellow color. There you go, that's reflected at the top there. Our text color here for the cast names. And our text color here for the character names. So it's as easy as that. If you wanna try it out for yourself, just click the link in the description below to the free asset from Mixkit and, uh, and you can play around with it yourself. All right, let's move on to the next part in this tutorial, and it's about adding captions and transcribing your sequence. So I've just got a little example here. I'll play it through for you. This is a quick example to show how easy it is to use the auto transcribe function in Premiere Pro. So let's get that transcribed and put some captions on it. Again, I'm going to go up into the captions and graphics section. 
And this time we won't be focusing on the right hand side in the Essential Graphics tab, we'll be moving our focus over to the left hand side here in the Text tab. And you can see I've got captions already selected here. Now you can transcribe sequence, you can create a new captions track, or you can import captions from a file. What we're going to do is we're going to transcribe the sequence first, and then we're going to create a new captions track from that transcription. So it's as easy as clicking transcribe sequence. Unless you know you need to change things here, stick with the default and hit transcribe. And you can see this is in real time, it's very, very quick. Let's play it through. You can see up at the top left here, this is a quick example to show how easy it is to use the auto transcribe function in Premiere Pro. It's done a fantastic job. Let's play it through. This is a quick example to show how easy it is to use the auto transcribe function in Premiere Pro. Nice, so now that we've got that, we can do a few different things before we create our captions. First of all, if you had multiple speakers, you can change the speaker names here. So let's change this to Tom. And then you can see that's reflected here. Now, if for some reason the auto transcribe function didn't get things 100% correct, you can double click in here and just change these. So if I click on here and say, uh, let's say I want auto to be capitalized, we can do that. I don't want auto to be capitalized because it has done a great job. So I'm not going to change anything, but that's where you can do it. Clicking out of this, I'm going to just hit create captions. So if you do know that you need to change any of these settings, please go ahead and do that. But for the most part, you can just click create and work with the defaults. So it's creating the captions over on the left there. This will take longer depending on how long your transcription is, as well as how long your timeline is. Okay, so you can see down here, it's added a subtitle track for us, which I can toggle on and off the same way I would toggle on or off another piece of footage or a text layer. Let's uh, play it through and see how well it's done. This is a quick example to show how easy it is to use the auto transcribe function in Premiere Pro. Fantastic, I'm happy with that. Now I can toggle the subtitle off if I want to. This is a quick example to show how... And you can see there, it's no longer playing. If I toggle it back on, you'll see it on there. So if you have multiple different subtitles in different languages, you can have them all done at the same time, but you can toggle the ones that you wanna read on or off at any time. Okay, so let's say that you've finished this sequence and you're ready to export. You've got two options when it comes to captions. You can either export the captions burnt into the video, which means that the subtitles will remain on screen in the finished file, or you can export them with a sidecar file or a .srt file, which basically means you can upload the video without the captions onto something like YouTube, and you can also upload the SRT file, which allows users at the other end to either toggle the captions on or off, depending if they need them. So how do we do both of those? First of all, I'm just going to set an at point at the end of this sequence, and then I'm going to go up to our top left export button up here. This will bring us into the export window. So you've got your media file selected here and you've got your file name, transcription and captions. You can then also select the location for the export. You can select your presets and your formats as well. I'm going to keep this on match source adaptive high bitrate with a H.264 file format. I'm also actually going to change this one to underscore subtitles. And the reason for that is once I go into my captions twirl down here, I'm going to keep this on burn captions into video. Over here on the bottom right, I'm going to hit export. And you can see that has now exported. But I also wanna do the sidecar file. So I'm going back up into our export settings. And this time I'm going to do create sidecar file and I'm not going to change the name. I'm going to go down to export. And again, it's exporting. So let's open up our finder window now and see what's happened. So this is where I had exported things to and I've got transcription and captions underscore subtitles. And if I play this, this is a quick example to show how easy it is to use the auto transcribe. You'll see that that has the captions burnt in. Now, if I go down to our other file that doesn't have the subtitles tag at the end and I play it, this is a quick example to show how easy it is to. You'll see that that doesn't have the captions burnt in. And then down here is the .srt file. So when I go into YouTube and I upload this file that doesn't have the subtitles, I'll also upload the transcriptions and captions SRT file in the relevant area in YouTube. And then that means that the user can then toggle on the captions to their heart's content. There you go, really easy stuff. It's very simple to add text in Premiere Pro depending on what you need. And all under 15 minutes as well. 
Now, I hope you like this tutorial. Make sure if you're not already to get subscribed to the Envato Tuts Plus YouTube channel. We're bringing you content daily to help you learn how to use different programs like Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, and there's plenty of other things on there as well, like Illustrator, Photoshop, and even some, you know, web design, business management, whatever you need. Go and check out the Envato Tuts Plus YouTube channel today and consider subscribing. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.